the greatest three weeks in all of sports is finally here. It's just so exciting. I'm just ready to get going with this video. Before I get to that, let me just say this is not going to be the only bracket I fill out. This is going to be the one that I put out on YouTube. I'm hosting the group game as well, a bracket challenge. But if you're but if you're in my bracket challenge, or you're going to be, don't assume that this bracket is going to be the exact same thing as the one in my group. Because I fill out several different brackets every single year. And I'll put the link in that in the description box of the group game so you can join it if you'd like. And also, shout out to the Athletes Hub. Their guys are doing a group challenge as well. Try to beat me and some of their writers and some of their bloggers. I'm going to put the link in the description box of their group as well so you can join one of our groups or both of them. Or you can be a party pooper and join neither one. Your choice. Anyway, before I get to my picks, let me just say, I'm asking you, please do not say anything about these picks in the comment section. Don't spoil it in the comment section for people that have been waiting all day for this, all weekend for this, all week for this, all month for this, and all season for this. They've waited so much, and it would just really, really bother me if I have one of my listeners say in the comment section that somebody spoiled it for them. It would really make me upset because I try to make this spoil free as possible for the big things like these. It just takes the fun out of it for fans and listeners. So please don't say anything in the comment section. If you're going to comment anything, at least comment who your final four is. I'm not trying to be mean about it. I'm just trying to make sure nobody gets this video ruined for them. And let's get to the picks. I'm going to kind of fly right through these a little bit. Try to make it faster than last year. I think last year we had about over 20 minutes. So I'm going to try to cut it down to about maybe 10 or 15. And we've got Villanova versus the winner of Mount St. Mary's in New Orleans. I got Villanova going to the second round because I think that's pretty much a lock. In fact, we can just skip right through. I have all the one seeds going to the second round. Wisconsin, Virginia Tech. I'm picking Wisconsin in that one because although this year's 8-9 and nine matchups look really well, they look really inching to watch. They're kind of crapshoots and you're better off flipping a coin, but I base this off the lead, the senior leadership that Wisconsin has of Nigel Hayes and Bronson Koenig. But the thing that's probably going to hurt them in the long run is that Wisconsin's going to rely on those guys to step up. But Wisconsin has other guys that can shout up like Zach Shawwalter, Ethan Happ, a bunch of different guys that can step up. Virginia and North Carolina Wilmington. This is my first upset. I'm picking North Carolina Wilmington. This is a really strong team. They almost beat Duke last year in the tournament. And they're back for more. There's plenty of players from last year on this year's team. And I think Virginia might go in there overconfident. And that's going to be the 12-5 upset. That it's a trap. I'm picking I'm picking well I'm you picking UNC Wilmington. Florida and Eastern Tennessee, I am picking Florida, although it's going to be really close. It's not going to be a blowout. It's going to be about maybe eight or nine points. Estimating the winner of Providence and USC. I'm picking the winner of that play-in game to go to the second round. I don't think it matters what it is. I feel like whoever wins that play-in game goes the round of 32. Baylor versus New Mexico State. I'm picking Baylor in that one. I think they're going to finally overcome those tournament demons that they've had. The last two years of being upset in the first round. Duke versus Troy. I'm picking Duke. Gonzaga versus South Dakota State. Part of me wouldn't be surprised if South Dakota State really made a run at this game. I mean, South Dakota State has some talented players in that roster. Especially Mike Dom, who really went off in the conference tournament championship game against UNO. But I'm still picking Gonzaga. I just feel like the talent of Gonzaga will just be too much. And I know I said I'd skip through them, but I feel like that'd be an interesting point to talk about. Northwestern versus Vanderbilt. I'm picking Vanderbilt. Even though Northwestern's going to want it more, I just feel like Vanderbilt's... I think Vanderbilt's going to be really motivated. I think that's going to be in somewhat of an upset. But 8-9... and nine, Again, 8-9 and nine teams, they're pretty much even. 
Notre Dame versus Princeton. I'm picking Notre Dame to win it, although this is going to be close, kind of like all the other games, because the first round, they're always close because teams come out a little overexcited, a little bit overamped up. But I'm picking the Irish. West Virginia versus Bucknell. I am picking West Virginia. Maryland versus Xavier. I am picking Maryland in this one. I just like that senior leadership of Melo Trimble. He's one of my favorite players to watch in college basketball. And I think he's going to get past Xavier. In fact, the team will. I feel like it's going to be really close. That could be one of the games that come down to a buzzer beater. I'll name all the first round games and a buzzer beater at the end. Florida State and Florida Gulf Coast. Much to be great to see Florida Gulf Coast win. I think Florida State's going to pull it out at the end. This game's in Orlando, so it can be really interesting. Kind of a little in-state rivalry in Orlando. St. Mary's versus VCU. This is an interesting matchup as well. I mean, half these matchups so far, they're going to be really interesting. They could come down to the wire. But I'm picking St. Mary's to win this one. Arizona versus North Dakota. I am picking Arizona. All right, we already have Kansas in the round of 32. Miami versus Michigan State. I am picking Spartans. And I'm picking Sparty to go to the second round to play Kansas in what should be a great round of 32 matchup. Iowa State versus Nevada. I'm picking Iowa State. Although Iowa State could be a team that loses in the first round that nobody expects. But I think they're going to get to the second round at least. Purdue versus Vermont. I'm picking Purdue, but let me just tell you, I was this close picking Vermont. I might pick Vermont and maybe call my other brackets. I'm going to probably fill out about 25 to 30 different brackets. So I might put Vermont in about two or three of them. Because I think Vermont is riding the hot hand, a 21-game winning streak. They know how to come from behind in games. But I still think Purdue, I like that. I like the leadership of Caleb Swanigan. Creighton and Rhode Island, this is kind of a toss-up as well. But I'm picking Creighton as a gift to my fellow Nebraskans. You're welcome. Enjoy the second round. Because I was this close to picking Rhode Island. Oregon versus Iona. I'm picking Oregon despite losing Chris Boucher for the season. I just think Oregon is going to be fine in the first game. For the second game, it may be a little bit of a trouble. Michigan versus Oklahoma State. Now, this is probably personal opinion, this is probably the best 7-10 matchup there is. But I just feel like Michigan just having the hot hand right now, especially with the, the way they're coming together the team right now, after the after that whole plane disaster thing, I just, that it's like a brotherhood. And I think and I just feel like many of these Many of the fans would really want to see Michigan in the Final Four because it'd be, it'd almost be like a heroic story. And I think Michigan's going to at least get to round two, but we'll find out later in the video if they go further, in my opinion. Little versus Jacksonville State, I'm picking those Cardinals. UNC versus Texas Southern, not UNC. Arkansas versus Seton Hall. Got another toss up a little bit, but I'm picking Arkansas on that one. I just kind of like. The size of Arkansas, the size and the depth of Arkansas. Minnesota is Middle Tennessee. Now, this is another upset I have screaming out. This is kind of a screaming upset as well. But I am picking Middle Tennessee. Think about it. This team is no stranger to pulling out first round upsets. They upset probably one of the biggest favorites in March Madness history last year, Michigan State. So Middle Tennessee knows how to pull off upsets, especially against the Big Ten. But I have Middle Tennessee getting to the second round. Butler versus Winthrop. I'm picking Butler in that one. Cincinnati versus the winner of the Wake Forest Kansas State game. Again, I'm picking the winner of that play-in game. Because I feel like those two teams can match up to Cincinnati physically. But I think it's going to be a close one, though. Cincinnati's got a great roster on their hands. But overall, I feel like the winner of that play-in game is going to have a significant advantage. Because sure, Cincinnati may be rested up, but they, but the winner of that playing game will already have, have had a game under their belt. UCLA versus Kent State. I'm picking the Bruins because it's in Sacramento and they're going to have a significant amount of fans there. Dayton versus Wichita State. A great mid-major matchup. But I'm going to pick the Wichita State Shockers because I feel like this Wichita State team is too talented to lose in round one. 
Right, both these teams seem too talented to lose in round one, but I feel like Wichita State's going to win that matchup. Kentucky versus Northern Kentucky. I got Kentucky. All right, next round. Villanova versus Wisconsin. I have got the Wisconsin Badgers pulling off a round of 32 upset. Again, that senior leadership. UNC Wilmington versus Florida. I am not sold on what I've seen out of Florida. So I'm picking UNC Wilmington to be a Cinderella team to the Sweet 16. The winner of the Providence USC playing game versus Baylor. I'm picking Baylor on that one. Marquette versus Duke. I am picking Duke. Gonzaga versus Vanderbilt. I have Gonzaga. Notre Dame versus West Virginia. I am having the. I'm picking the Irish in that one. Maryland versus Florida State. I am picking Maryland because I'm not too sold on what Florida State. What I've seen out of Florida State this season. St. Mary's versus Arizona. I am picking Arizona. Kansas versus Michigan State. I was cl- I was this close picking Michigan State, but I think Kansas is too good to lose before the Sweet 16. Iowa State and Purdue. I am picking Iowa State. Although I was this close to picking Purdue. I feel like that's around a 3 match that can go either way. I may put Purdue in the Sweet 16 and a couple other brackets I fill out. But not this one. Creighton versus Oregon. I have Oregon. Sorry, Nebraska friends. Michigan versus Louisville. I am picking the Wolverines to pull off that upset to go to the Sweet 16. Because I just feel like that's what the fans will root for. North Carolina versus Arkansas. I am picking UNC. Middle Tennessee versus Butler. I am picking Middle Tennessee to get to the Sweet 16. Call me crazy if you want, but I just feel like this team is just no strangers pulling off upsets. The winner of the Wake Forest Kansas State playing game versus UCLA. I'm picking UCLA. Wichita State versus Kentucky. I am picking Kentucky. All right, so now we're at the Sweet 16. Wisconsin versus UNC Wilmington. The Cinderella story ends here. I like the Badgers to go to the Elite Eight. Baylor versus Duke. I am picking the Duke Blue Devils. Gonzaga versus Notre Dame. I am picking the Irish to upset the Bulldogs. Maryland versus Arizona. I am picking those Arizona Wildcats. Kansas versus Iowa State. A Big 12 confidence matchup. But I am picking Kansas in this one. Oregon versus Michigan. I'm picking Michigan to pull off that upset because once Michigan knows, once Michigan is hot from shooting from three, it's almost lights out. UNC versus Middle Tennessee. The Cinderella stories end here. I'm picking UNC. UCLA versus Kentucky. I am picking Kentucky to win that, to avenge their loss in Ralph Arena last, this up this, earlier this year. Start out the Elite Eight. Wisconsin versus Duke. I have Duke getting to the Final Four in this bracket. Notre Dame versus Arizona. I like Arizona. I think this is the year Arizona gets to the Final Four. I feel like as soon as Gonzaga gets knocked out of this bracket, I feel like Arizona's got a nice run to the Final Four. Kansas versus Michigan. The dream season for Michigan, the comeback season for Michigan, it ends the Elite Eight the Elite Eight, unfortunately. I'm picking the Jayhawks to go to the Final Four. And North Carolina versus Kentucky. Because we were robbed of this matchup in the tournament last year, and we are finally going to get it this year. But I am picking Kentucky, because I do not think North Carolina's team is as good as it was last year. Because there's missing pieces to that team as well. So I feel like Kentucky's going to have the edge in this matchup. So if you keep a score home, I have my Final Four in this bracket being Duke, Arizona, Kansas, and Kentucky. And let's get to the final four. So now, so now we are in Arizona for the final four. And we have Duke versus Arizona. Now the now the, geop- the, the geographical sense would say to pick Arizona because they'd have more fans at the game. But I say no. I feel like I feel like Duke has the hot hand, so I have Duke going to the championship to play the winner of between Kansas and Kentucky. And I have the winner being the Kentucky Wildcats. So for the championship, we have Duke versus Kentucky. And by a score of 73-65, to 65, I have the winner of the national championship game being the Kentucky Wildcats. Anyway, that is the Johnny Talk Sports YouTube bracket. 
Comment your final four thoughts down below. Also, who is your national champion? Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter throughout the tournament to interact with me during the tournament at JB Talk Sports. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Enjoy the tournament. I will see you in future videos.